So how do you extract a lead from Facebook? So usually, let me just let me just show you very quickly. Like, let's say right now, I this is the lead ad, right? Okay, this is a lead ad where if you're interested, you can just click sign up, and then there's something like this, and you can fill up your information like this. So let me just try like filling out an email. Let's say Adrian test example. So testing Adrian one two three. I'm just gonna put in my phone number and then just just something and when I click next okay and I submit so right now I am already signed up to this particular lead app okay so how do I download the lead this is how people usually download their lead they go to their page right and then they go to a place called publishing tools they go to publishing tools which is on the page itself on the page itself on the top top tab right here okay you click on more and then you click on publishing tools okay so once you click on publishing tools you will be able to download all the lead available in your page including all the organic lead so for example, right here, just now the way that I do it, right, is actually a organic lead. It is not uh, like a paid lead because I actually found this link from my page and I just signed it up and Facebook will actually judge it as an organic lead. So come here and then go down here somewhere called a lead form library, app from library. Click on the form library. And then you will be able, you will be able to see the form that you have created for your lead ad, and then you can download it. Just click on download, download date range, and usually I go for a lifetime. Okay, I download everything, and I just click download, and I click gone CSV. So right now you have a CSV download here. So how do I actually uh, go try to download it? It's actually very simple. I want to download it through Chat Mamba. So go back to Chat Mamba. I want you. To, I want you to go to Home, right? And I want you to click on this one. This little funnel button is actually Facebook lead extraction. So what you need to do is just right now do the same thing. You connect to Facebook, right? And you gotta give it the permission to actually uh, access the Facebook lead. So here I'm just gonna give permission to all my pages, and I click Continue, okay? And then here. I'm gonna go back and then it's the same thing as comment auto reply. Don't get confused, don't get confused, right? Comment auto reply is auto reply, lead ad is lead ad, it's the same thing. It's, it's the same similar structure, but it's two different functions. So I want to link the page. So right now my page is actually Bricks Marketing 360. So I'm gonna to link to this page, right? So this is the page that I want. Find that page and I click link. Right, so now it's linked. So I go in there, I go in there right now, and then let me explain. Here, link form actually means, means that whatever form do you have already linked to Chen Mamba before. Because this is new, so you don't have anything, you have not linked any link form yet, which makes sense because you haven't done anything. So what you have to do is just click on this link gem form. When you click on this link gem form, it actually shows all the link form that you have in your, uh, in your Facebook page and you just need to choose the one that you want click on this little like circle here to select it and now it will ask to sign into your google sheet because the whole point of lead extraction is to automate the whole process it will help you to extract the lead from facebook into google sheet so you have a link to a google sheet so let me just link to my google sheet right now all right just one second really quickly let me link to my google sheet all right so this is my Google Sheet. I'm just I have already logged in. I just wanna click on it and then uh, here when when and it says the app is not verified, it's actually safe. Don't worry, just click on advanced and then click on this go to chat mamba. So like in this way you'll be able to allow chat mamba to access your Google Drive. Then only it can create uh, it can access your Google Sheet. Okay? So next thing to do, this is already linked right here. See that? Okay. So the next thing to do. Is actually go to your Google Drive and then I want you to actually create a new Google Sheet 
so that the link the lead can be extracted onto the Google Sheet. So here in the Google Drive, just click on New, choose Google Sheet. Right. Once you choose Google Sheet, then a new Google Sheet pops up. And there's a few columns that you need. So for example, this one right here. Just now when we sign in, right, I think uh, I don't know if you still remember, I'm actually asking for a few information. So first of all, is name, email, phone number. This three things is very important. And I also want to ask one more question. How many people would you bring? Okay. So here I need to expect those columns. So first is just time. Okay. What is the time of the lead? Right. And second column is name. And then the third column is phone. And then the fourth column is email. And the final one is actually number of people. And for your own reference, you can also put a remark. So when you do, do your calling and all, you want to put a remark of this lead, you can actually do it. And then give it a name. Give it a name. So if, let's say this is actually lead extraction at one. Example, something like this. Right, just click on it. Okay. So now I want you to go back to your chat mamba. And here, because the, the, the Google Sheet is just being created, so what you need to do is just click on this refresh selection. Always click on the refresh selection so you can choose the correct lead. So for example, this is the lead that I want. Right? And then here, how many sheets do I have? I only have one sheet. So you can change it to any name. So let's say this is uh let's say at one. Okay. So at one. So let me come back here and, and again you click on refresh selection. So it's updated and you can choose the sheet which is at one. So once you click on at one and then you click on next, right? So look at all these few. All these few are the few that you wrote up here, this six column. So you don't need to match everyone, it's everything is optional, but if but since this is all the information that you want, <coughs> just link all. Link time to create the time. Link name to full name. Link phone to phone number. Link number of people to how many people would you bring along. And then link email to email. And do I link anything for remark? No. You can leave it blank. It's okay. And then you click next. The next thing is, because this, lead, this ad doesn't have any lead, so there is actually a fake lead that we have created to test the bot. So next thing is to click send test. So once you click send test, see, there's a fake lead that's being transferred here already. So that means the bot has already connected, right? And what you need to do is just click on this button here called create form. So right here, you already set up the connection, already set up the connection. So you go back to your lead form and this is what you're going to see. Okay, now. Click on create form. Okay, the bot here, now I want to test it, right? I want to test it. So how do you run a test on the app? So I want you to do this. You go to Google and then you search. Okay, you search. Search this word. Facebook lead ad testing tool. So just search this and then just, you know, click it. And then first one, testing and troubleshooting, right? This is the one that we want. And when you go in there, it's an article showing you how to test the lead and all. Okay, so what you need to do is just come here and look at this link. Okay, this blue color link, you can, you can use this tool. This tool, I want you to click on this tool. So once you click on this tool, it actually pops up. The lead tool actually pops up. So you got to select the, prop, the page that you have been using, which is uh, the one that I had just now. Okay. So this is, uh, so uh, you have to select the page that you want, which is Bricks Marketing 360, and then select the form. My form name is class. So instead of clicking the preview form, let's just click on delete lead for now. I have to delete the first lead first, and then let's just to look at this one more time and click on create lead. Once you click on create lead, uh, Facebook is going to, see, it actually pops up here already. So this is actually a test lead, okay? So what you need to do is just come back here and you click delete lead, okay? And then the next time when somebody sign in, just click on create, I mean, which is the same as click on create lead, then the lead will pop out here. Let me try one more time. Let me just delete the lead and then I'm going to try to 
actually click on this preview form preview form and let me just try it one more time adrian test at gmail.com adrian test okay and bring in one people i'm just gonna try it and submit one more time let me come here and see it pops out already it, ah so see the moment i sign in it pops out already let me let me just try one more time because i think i did, didn't delete the lead just now so for those of you who are watching actually you should click the delete lead button first so you delete everything right and you click on preview form so see your customer if they see this lead ad and they sign up let's just click on submit and then let's wait the lead will pop up see that adrian test too and it's instant so this is going to save you time because as a user, you don't want to waste time, you know, uh, extracting lead and opening a computer to extract a lead. So anytime when somebody sign in, you will receive the lead immediately. Okay. But this is not good enough because there's no notification. See, when someone sign up the lead, right, you don't get any notification at all. So what you do is actually very simple. Uh, over here in Chat Mamba, there is also a tool called notification here. See, spreadsheet and notification. So you gotta give it a notification by actually adding a, an email so that when you receive a lead, you will be notified through email. So I'm gonna change the email, change the email to the email that I want, right? So before I change it, I have to verify it. So for example, I'm gonna use my email here, okay? And I click on verify. And then chat member is gonna send me a verification email in the email, right? So see, it says here pending, it's not being verified yet. So what I need to do is I need to log into my Gmail, okay? And I need to click on the verify button, okay? So wait for a while, wait for it to load. Okay, we're almost done, just hold on, right? And then you click on this, Verify your email from Briggs Marketing. It's Chat Mamba, and I want you to just click on this verify email. So when you click on verify email, then it will say that your email is verified successfully. I want you to go back to your original Chat Mamba tab, and here it changed to a tick. So meaning right now, for any lead, I will be receiving it through this Gmail. And then I will come back to my lead test, lead at test tool, and I'm gonna delete this lead, okay? And then I'm gonna try to click preview form and sign in with another lead. So adrian2 at gmail.com, okay? This is just my test. One, two, three, and then this is my phone number. I'm gonna bring uh, eight people, example. So if your customer now sign up, click next and click submit, right? So here in the Google Sheet, we expect it to say adrian123, see that? And what about the email? We will be expecting an email coming in, right? Just click refresh and see, you have a new lead from class and it's instant. With, and you click on it and you get the name, email and a phone number. And best, this is the best thing, right? So we also prepare a WhatsApp link for you. So if you are using your phone and you receive this email, this link, just click on this link and you will be able to send a message to your customer immediately. Right, I mean, this is desktop, so you can't actually see it, right? So, there you go, instant. And one more thing to note, right? It's actually up here. See, by itself, by default, it says untitled lead extraction. It's actually not good. So, what, I need, what you need to do is to give it something meaningful. So, just click on this, uh, just highlight here, and then just give it to something like so class lead extraction, right? And then you just click on update form, and here it looks good. Now, so that's pretty much it. If you need any more guidance, please feel free to do this. Click on this little like question mark button, click on it. And then here there's some Q&A that you usually can like find like topics too, right? But if you really can't find any guides and all, you can just click on get help from support and you can send us a message on our messenger and we will be in touch with you very, very quickly. All right, see you next time. Have fun using Chat Mamba. It is gonna save your time and increase your productivity. See you at the top. Bye-bye.